It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And coming up, it'll be no hose barred between AFC East rivals. It's the New York Jets and the Miami Dolphins. And it's all up next. We are about 15 or so miles northwest of world-famous Miami Beach as we are set for football at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. Today, a fun matchup in the AFC East as it'll be the New York Jets taking on the Miami Dolphins. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. At CD, the Dolphins, they've got some high hopes for 2023. They feel like they've got the pieces to make a run. They need a little bit of health but they think they can be right there in the AFC East. And they'll want every game to be a track meet because speed is their calling card. If they're able to sprint out there ahead of people and make them chase, they'll be tough to reel in. But meanwhile, for the Jets, you know, even putting the quarterback situation aside, this is an exciting time for them right now. Yeah, they were just 7-10 last year, I get that, but they're building a roster that's potentially got some future stars involved. They certainly are, remember. Going 7-10, they were 7-3 at one point last season, and they finished the year with the offensive and defensive rookies of the year. So you know that this roster is really on the rise. Here's a punter, Thomas Morstead, to get this one started, and we are underway from Miami. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. The Dolphins set to go on offense for the first time behind their 25-year-old quarterback, now in his fourth NFL season, to a tongue of Iloa. This guy's leadership is so important to how this offense functions. He doesn't shrink from any moments on game day, and everything he does, he does with confidence. He sets the example in practice off the field and is the guy leading everyone out for each possession. And some room to run now. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Opening quarter, his opening carry of the game. And I think they'll give it to him a few more times, as they should. You're exactly right about that. With that type of a run, you want to repeat it many times until they show signs of stopping it. I think he did his visualization exercise before this one, and they're paying off. A carry there for Mostert as he's able to work his way forward for a pretty good pickup on first down. Officially a gain of five. It's not a huge breakaway run, but if your starting running back finishes the game with averages of five or six yards per touch, you'll take that every single time. From the 47, it's second and five. Looking to pass to him. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 41-yard line. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. So in Jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 41. Up the middle they go with Mostert. The linebacker C.J. Mosley in on the stop. They've created a nice sustained drive off a place like that. A nice strong run there that keeps him advancing the ball. Second and five. On oh, the jet sweep, here comes Waddle. And this is not going to work as planned. He's going to be met and dropped behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. From the gun, it's Tua. Going up top. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Devon Achan, 38 yards. And the Dolphins get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Let's make no bones about it. On paper, they're the better team. They're at home. That's a strong opening drive. And just think how many times we've seen this type of a matchup. Just what you said, better team at home should steamroll them. And we've seen it go the other way. 
Sometimes, though, they buy into it and understand we are the better team. Let's go out and prove it right now. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and that makes the score 7-0. To the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. This fielded right at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. So here come the Jets for their initial possession of the game. They'll be led out by Zach Wilson, former second overall pick, now in his third season out of BYU. And what was really attractive about Zach Wilson coming out of college, coming out of BYU, his ability to create and make plays when many people thought they didn't exist. But what's been even better is watch him improve in the pocket, able to hit the back foot, make the right read, and the right throws. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. In this offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. Now the second-year man back from injury. It's Brees Hall. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. There are so many times during camp and practice that you get bored as a player doing regular drills. But how about that shed and skate drill right there by the linebacker? You do it each and every day, get the blocker away, and get into the backfield and make a big-time tackle. That's what we do. Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And he's got his guys set up great now. First and goal. And the Pigs get at the seven-yard line. But that's the down and distance coach is always talking about trying to avoid, isn't it? I mean, that's third and long. And you just know they're pinning their ears back and coming after him, sometimes even with extra pressure. And he, he knew that. I mean, he, he knew they were coming. He just fumbled it. Yeah, he knew it. The offensive line knew it. Everyone did. Yet the pressure was still there, and he ended up coughing it up. Following the fumble recovery, here's Tua. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. Quentin Jefferson breaking through to get him to the ground. It's a loss of seven. First and goal looked like things were set up nicely, and now all of a sudden on second and goal, Charles, a big challenge ahead of them. And you have to know when you're this close to the goal line, Things are going to happen faster, so you've got to get the ball out quick. Not going to have much time in the pocket before the defenders bring pressure. Tua wants to throw it on second down. Out route to Hill, complete. They'll wind up getting seven on the completion, but they'll still be faced now with a third and goal situation. Tua sets up to pass it to the goal line, but it's incomplete. Now the Jets' defense making things difficult there. Fourth down. Quarterbacking 101. Never force the ball into double coverage, especially not this close to the goal line. The windows are so tight, you just don't want to force it in there because it could be tipped up and picked off. Sanders' kick is good. And the Dolphins will add on to their lead. So golden field position there squandered as they can muster only a field goal. Yeah, you were gifted a first and goal situation, but I have to give credit to the defense. They were brought out in a really tough situation, so give them credit for holding them to three. That's a pretty nice accomplishment.
So after the made field goal, 10-0 here early as the kick's away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Back on the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. They look to get something started. They need to down 10 0 early as they've got it first and 10. Wilson. They find Randall Cobb with a completion. And he takes this up to the 40 yard line before being corralled. 15 yards is the pickup there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. He picks up three on that carry. And his throw here is incomplete. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it. Sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A first catch there for Wilson and a first down. All that practice time came to fruition on that play. All those timing routes that they work on through training camp, OTAs, mini camp, and just regular season. They got it done on that one. An out cut. Ball was delivered and picked up the completion. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 38. To throw is Wilson. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Buried behind the line by Christian Wilkins. I don't know if he was just working through progressions or just unaware of the pressure, but no matter. Excellent work by the defense to get him to the ground before he could escape the pocket. After the sack, oh, they're staring at a challenge basically from the other side of town. It's second and a country mile. Here's Wilson to throw. Pressure coming, and they got him once again. They'll wind up losing a full nine yards here on the sack. Now it's third down. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Man, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game, I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what, when he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group... They've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they have to give up the football again after this one. On fourth down, here's the veteran Thomas Morstead to punt for the Jets. Braxton Berrios deep for Miami. And looking up into the sun, he's able to make the fair catch inside the 20-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And it'll be Dolphin football. Two and now on first down. This one complete to Jalen Waddle. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. A run with Mostert up the middle. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Six yards, the pickup, and that's a first down. Well, you know they had a third down play on standby just in case, but he says no need with that carry. 
Runs like that will continually earn him more work in this and future contests. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. On play action, here's Tua. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. He'll wind up losing eight on the sack there, and it's second down. Well, they were coming out of the 4-3 defensively. Pressure coming off that right side from the DM. And that's the blind side of most quarterbacks. If you're right-handed, that's the side you don't see quite as well. And that's why you rely on your left tackle, maybe your highest paid offensive lineman, to take care of you. In this situation, that didn't happen. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Now Tua. Open man is Hill. He's got it. A good pick up there. 13 yards as they get closer for third down. I don't care who you put on him. He's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man. -man. Maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. Two are going to throw. Uh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. They had points on their first two possessions, a touchdown and a field goal, but this time, defense stands strong. Would you say that things maybe are trending now in the right direction for them? Better than drives one and two. There's no doubt about it. Now maybe they can exhale a little bit, gather themselves, and really get back into this game. And yeah, the putter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. A 40-yard punt, give him three on the return, and the Jets will take over first and ten. New York's offense back out there and set to go. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Now second and five. Now it's Wilson. Over the middle, it's complete. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. You always worry about those smaller receivers running through that gnarly patch of land in the middle of the field. But he did a really nice job there holding on to the football and protected himself as best he could while completing the play. On first and 10, it's Hall. And his defense able to plug him up there as he'll get a yard to the 35. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. From the gun, it's Wilson. From the left side, it's complete. That one good for 26 and a first down. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory right at the 40. Paul on to give up the middle. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. They'll work from the 36 on second and six. Throwing is Wilson. And that'll be off the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them, and not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they got a few words to say to the QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. On third down, Wilson. is going to be incomplete. The Dolphins do the job defensively there, and now it brings
brings up fourth. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. Zerline's kick is up and through, but now there is a penalty marker on the field, so let's see what this is about. And they'll accept that penalty. Automatic first down. Now it's first and ten after a costly penalty there on fourth down. Back to the ground with Hall. Javon Holland coming up to make the stop. Ten nothing the score after one on EA Sports. The Jets with the football here to start the second quarter. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. As they've got it as we resume action. And he'll take this one down near the 15. It'll only be a gain of a yard, and it sets up a third down and four now. Now Wilson. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. And that gain of nine buys them a new set of downs. And there was absolutely zero pressure on the quarterback on that play. Third down, and he has all the time in the world to eventually find an open receiver for a first down pickup. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run with Hall. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Now a stoppage here as it looks like we've got a Dolphin shaken up on the play. We'll get an update when we come back to Miami. Now from the nine, here's second and goal. One more time with Hall. And a nice pick up there. It gets about five down to the four-yard line. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Here's Wilson. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. A great job to hold him to just a yard there. Now it's fourth and goal. What hallmark of good defenses? It's understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. They'll go for it. It's Hall. He's fighting, but they're not going to let him in. Stopped at the two-yard line. They stop him on fourth and goal at the three. And the Dolphins celebrate their goal line stand. A chance to get some momentum here in the second quarter, getting their first trip into the red zone, but unable to get it across. And if I'm the head coach, sure, you feel some disappointment, maybe a little bit of deflation there because you didn't get it in, but I'm going straight to rah-rah mode. All right, guys, we didn't get it this time. It's only the second quarter. We'll be back. Let's get it later on. I want to keep this team up. I don't want them to feel like they've let everyone down. Positive. Got to be positive in this situation. It's too early to think that you don't have a chance to win this game. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. And while they hope to continue this drive, it's really already mission accomplished. They've given enough space now that if they have to pump the ball, they've done so with that first run. Here's Tua. That's caught by the Notre Dame man. It's Durham Smythe. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that will bring up third and one. Now 
whistles and a flag, and I believe a Dolphin got going a little early. Uh, third and one, you had the run pass option. Now, not so much. Yeah, it changes the play call, doesn't it? And that's probably a big reason why those offensive coordinators laminate their play sheets. You can't just rip them and tear them up when you're angry about something like that. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he will be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. It's a big play there for Miami. 44 yards. This offense is looking very comfortable here in this first half. Very relaxed, very smooth, very efficient. No wasted motions. Things are definitely going their way, and they continue to move the ball downfield. The big play has them all the way out near midfield for a first and ten. Throwing now is Tungamailoa. Completes it to the tight end, Smythe. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team, but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large-body tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Line of scrimmage, again the 37 as they line up second and 10. From the gun, a run with Mostert, fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. To the sideline and incomplete. Jets defense making things difficult there. Fourth down. And this defense definitely in his head there on third down. And he's pretty fortunate. They didn't call for grounding on this one. That was a good 10 feet over everyone's head. So fourth down, two of departs, and on is Jason Sanders and the Dolphin field goal unit. It'll be spotted on the right hash. A 52-yard attempt. And he missed it. It's no good. And the lead will hold at 10. Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. New York ready to go again offensively. A kind of a lucky break on the prior drive, Charles. The turnover on downs that the offense had didn't come back to bite them after the other side, their defense came through, was able to hold them without any points. I would agree with you, partner. A little bit of a lucky break indeed, but you know what they'd say to us. No luck, just pure skill. We rose to the challenge, and we didn't permit a score. That's how we roll. Well, I'm kind of curious, Charles, if they might temper their aggressiveness now offensively if they get in that fourth down spot again. Yeah, one would think so, but maybe because they held them, they might go for it again. From just across the midfield stripe, here's second down and one. A first carry for a Miami native. This is Dalvin Cook. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. Only a yard in the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Wilson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. This offense is starting to get into rhythm. A nice quick throw there on target, able to pick up another first down. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. 
What a nice burst there as he'll take this inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. 14 yards that time and a first down on the keeper. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. A toss left side for Hall. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Brees Hall, a 12-yard touchdown run. And the Jets have cut it back within a score. Well, they ran the toss, trusting he had the speed to get to the edge, and he did. And there really wasn't any doubt about that because the scouting report told you that this guy could flat out run. When you give him a little bit of space and a chance to get there, he usually does. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. So the drive there took six plays. And it was capped off by a Brees Hall touchdown run. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Taken at the goal line. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And the way their last drive ended, boy, it was frustrating. They had a pretty good drive going. It was sustained, and then it stalled out, Charles, and they missed the field goal and got nothing out of it. Is that insult to injury? Because they had such a sustained drive, as you noted. So you know for the head coach, it almost felt like a little bit of failure to send out the field goal unit, and then to not even see the ball go through the post. What a bummer on that last drive for them. Got to pick themselves up from that one. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. Throw left side is complete on the diving effort. A good pick up there. 18 yards as they get closer for third down. And not all spectacular catches are the result of a pass that maybe was not thrown quite right. Sometimes it's thrown in the perfect spot, and you have to just go get it. He did that right there. No fear there in the middle of the field. Tug of Iloa going to try and throw on third down. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Short yardage situation, you have to wonder if they thought that they were just going to run it inside. But you have to be cognizant of the back slipping out of the backfield trying to find some open space. And that's exactly what he does to the tune of a first down. Now Achan on first and ten. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there. Second down. Now a second and six. Here's Tug of Iloa to throw. A short throw there. That's to Smythe, the tight end. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. First 
Tua sets up to pass it. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that is incomplete. He certainly had a good game throwing the ball so far, but I think he was trying to take that from good to great with that throw, trying to get one downfield. Second and 10. Looking to pass to him. This ball tipped and it's going to be incomplete. Fortunate maybe to get that back. It's third down. That incompletion certainly makes this upcoming third down a little bit more crucial. They need to find the right play to convert here and maybe start to tamp down a little bit of the momentum. The other side is starting to gain. Two and a throw again. They'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. John Franklin Myers in there to take him down on what will take us to the two-minute warning. Jake Bailey on now to punt here on fourth down. And this will pin him back deep. That's going to kick out of bounds right at about the seven-yard line. And New York set to take the field. And this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Any questions of how they'd approach this drive were answered right there. They come out throwing, and they get a nice pickup here toward the end of the first half. Play action. It's Wilson. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I like the thought process there. They connected on a big play, and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable. So they went for the bigger shot, went for it all on that one. This time, they were ready for it. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. There's Wilson to throw. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. So now third and ten, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. They go play action with Wilson. And the tackle going to be made at the 41 as they stop him a few yards short of the first. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Miami set to take over. And not an abundance of time remains on the clock, Charles, but you would think more than enough to try to extend this lead before intermission. And when you're talking about extending the lead, I think you're talking about aiming for the end zone because there is plenty of time for that. The fallback is to get three. But in your mind, you put six on the board right before the half. That's a heck of a dagger and great momentum to carry into the locker room. After the incompletion, they'll try once more from the 20-yard line on second and 10. Up the middle, a champ. And he'll get this up only to about the 22. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Let's go. 
The Jets will bring in a nickel set here as they try to stop this third down. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. All right, let's just go ahead and walk through this one pretty easily, right? Blast off the line of scrimmage, get downfield to a certain point, usually around 8 to 10 yards, turn around and make sure the quarterback sees your numbers and set yourself up for the pass. A well-executed curl route by Charles Davis. And he will find his man on the outside. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. A gain of eight there on the play. And it'll be second in a couple. Looking to throw. And his throw is incomplete. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move all over the place to try and find good matchups. And they had one, they were just unable to complete the pass. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. They'll run for it with A-Chan. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. On first down, Tonga Bailoa. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. Sauce Gardner picks it off, and the Jets are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot, and if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there, and sure enough, this one's going the other way. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Here's second and three. Now it's Wilson. And Lazard's got it again. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. This is a 49-yard attempt, right hash. Zerline's kick is up and through, and that will do it for this first half. So thanks to the late field goal, we are all tied up heading to intermission. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, back to you too in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando and our EA Sports Halftime Report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. started for the second half it was an even first half all tied on the scoreboard and the tackle going to be made right there at the 25 yard line 
Here's the Jets offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. On second down, a run with Hall. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Third and two, now Wilson. And he is caught, and he is going to have a Jets first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. They'll give to Hall. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That play over before it got anywhere, thanks to Christian Wilkins. Carry over from the first half. That defensive line continues to control the line of scrimmage. Yeah, they're actually playing the game in the offense's backfield. They're taking those offensive linemen and pushing them back towards the quarterback and towards the runners. I still don't think, though, that you abandon the running game totally, because if you do, you're asking for a lot more hits on your QB. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Right now, the story of this game continuing to be the defenses because the offenses, they're finding it difficult to establish any rhythm whatsoever. I like how you come to us in praise of defense, Brandon, because that's exactly right. That was an incompletion force there, but we've seen it throughout this game. Both of these defense coordinators, pressure comes, and Wilson's going to go down. Loss of 10 as multiple defenders get to it. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has not received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he's on to punt for New York. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. So here are the Dolphins now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. Now this game it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. Two and now on first down. Throw right side going to be caught here by Waddle. And they get him down before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Hill going to go in motion right. He'll get it here on the jet sweep. And that is well read there defensively. He was looking to use his speed to get the edge, but they said no way. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half, and that trend is continuing here. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Now Tua. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Nowadays, quarterbacks don't mind throwing in the coverage because of the confidence they have in their receivers to come down with the ball. But sometimes you have to be careful you don't get too confident and throw an interception. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Two are going to throw. And that's caught inside the 30. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A big gain of 38 there on third down. 
You just had the feeling that sooner or later, someone was going to come up with that one play. Neither team has really done a whole lot offensively, but here's one that pays off to the tune of big yardage, and it's one that could maybe get this group in gear. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. A-Chan gets it from the gun. And he's going to have a gain of 11 to the 11 before he's brought down first and 10. Well, as we've learned over the years, just because a guy plays left tackle doesn't mean he doesn't have run blocking abilities. And we just saw it there. Controlled the line of scrimmage, created a big gain. That's kind of a bonus. He's there to protect that high value that you have back under center, but he creates space in the run game. Yeah, not only can he dance, he can mash, too. Quick hitter here, it's complete. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. Here's Mostert, toss left side. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. A field goal would get him the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down. Here's Tua. game tied at the half and we are tied no more a touchdown there on the opening sequence of this third quarter and what a great drive put together by their offensive coordinator he had a plan and they executed it almost to perfection coming right out of the locker room now they're feeling good about their chances here in the second half extra point up and good by sanders and that makes it a 17 10 score Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And this take it in at the goal line. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. So out now come the Jets. They find themselves down 17-10 as they come up on a first and 10. Now Hall to start the drive. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second and three. Here's Hall again. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Four yards to pick up, first down. Now, we all know that an offense coordinator and a quarterback, <laughs> they're aligned at the hip. But when you've got a runner who can get you that kind of yardage, that guy's invaluable. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. On the counter, it's Hall. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Make it now three tackles for a loss in this game, one for each quarter. And for a guy who played defense in college, I can just tell you that he's feeling very satisfied right now by what he's doing, but he's elated because he knows what he's doing is helping his team win the game right now. Making some big time plays, getting into the offense's backfield and spilling everything. Here's a diving catch right side. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. A jet first down, 18 big yards that time. I felt that one all the way up here. How about that big man laying out and making that catch? Yeah, that wasn't a 180-pound wideout. That was a tight end.
straight ahead is home. And down to the 44, five yards that time. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. From the 44-yard line, here's a second and five. Here's Wilson. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Out of the gun, they run it with Hall. Nice little juke. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. A handoff for Hall. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Six yards the pickup, and that's a first down. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. On first and ten, it's Wilson. Flush to his right. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. I think the defense surprised him there with that blitz on first down, but give him credit. Stayed cool under pressure and still found a way through the extra rushers for positive yardage. Well done. Hall on a give up the middle. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. 63 yards for him on the ground now on that, his 20th carry of the ball game. This has been a good drive so far, and it's been the running game for the most part that's powered him down there. Another nice burst there, picking up a first down. Now it's first and 10, as you said, in the red zone. On first down, right back to Hall. And he'll get four there, down to about the 12-yard line. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the pass. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. They'll toss it out right here to Hall. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Well, it's almost football 101 that you preach to your safeties. Don't let anyone get behind you in the last line of defense. But he didn't let the play come to him. He went to the play. How about that read and recognition and finishing off that one behind the line of scrimmage? On third down, Wilson. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And the Jets are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. It'll be first and goal when we come back. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Miami. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. They'll run with Hall, and the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Only a yard on the pickup there, second and goal. All of a sudden, those lanes that were there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. And now third and goal coming up, the loss on second down. That just means this crowd's going to get even louder, and they'll get a little bit of extra help from the defenders as they exhort them to join them in the effort. On third and goal, Wilson. And that is incomplete. So it's been a long drive. They held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be
be a letdown. I'm going for it here. Likely the play of the game here. Trailing in the final quarter and going for it on fourth and goal. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. And this will be caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Randall Cobb, a five-yard touchdown. And the Jets are an extra point away from tying this game here on the fourth. And we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And an important one that is, as we are all tied now early in this fourth quarter. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Dolphins offense now working their way back onto the field. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. Play action, now it's Tua getting this out to the flat, Mostert. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. That'll give him eight that time, and they'll be left with second and a couple. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. And he'll get it up near the 30. The drive continues. It's a first down. Sometimes I get almost mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, those eyes that carry their feet to open spaces, make people miss. I just love watching those guys go to work. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now a play fake. Here's Tug of Iloa. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. He was looking for Tyreek Hill that time, and that'll bring up second down. Throwing now is Tugabailoa. A short throw there, that's to Smythe, the tight end. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll try and run here with Mostert. He's going to be a yard short. Needed two, but only got one. Fourth down. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is set away. They call it 38 yards on the punt. No return. And the Jets' offense will be backed up to start this drive as they've got it first and ten. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and ten at their own 15. He'll give it to Hall to start the drive. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. The defense thought they had that play covered, but it still got driven backward by those blockers. Those types of plays are a key part of any team's offensive game plan. It all starts up front in the trenches. The ball resting on the 20. Here's second and six. Throwing is Wilson. That's complete right side to Lazard. 
And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Seven catches for him now in this last one, a first down. On first and 10, it's Hall. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, second down. Offensive line really didn't give him any room to maneuver on that play. Things closed pretty quickly, didn't they? And how about the wrap-up at the end of that tackle? Left no doubt there would be no additional yardage to be found. Now it's Wilson. Eluding the pressure right. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit, and he gets a small gain on the play. From the gun on third down, Wilson. Pass complete. He's got Lazard on the out run. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. And it's a first down. Off the play fake. Here's Wilson. This is Lazard with a catch out left. As long as you go through your proper reads and progressions, the drag route can be one of those old reliable plays because usually it's good for a good chunk of yardage as we just saw there. And those guys like it, right? They can get the ball with a full head of steam. Especially against man coverage because man coverage, they're typically running away from someone and not worried about traffic coming out on the other end. Play action. Now Wilson. Open man here is Conklin. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A gain there of 30 big ones. Talk about a momentum shifter right there. Tie game, fourth quarter. These are the plays that win you games. And now defensively, the question becomes, how do you respond? So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. A give running right is Hall. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. Tackled by Bradley Chubb, the number five pick in the 2018 draft. I would think as a play call, you want to look for some quick hitters to your tight end. Any type of a route to replace where that linebacker was, because when you saw the speed with which he reacted and stuffed that play, Maybe use that speed against him in the future. All again on second down. And once again, not much running room, if any at all. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. And what we just saw there, partner, was linebacking speed that can trump O-line power. We see that at times because he filled the gap before the offensive lineman could get to the next level and take him on. Two runs for a net gain of nothing. Now here's third and ten. Here's Wilson. Jets. The two Wilson, Zach and Garrett teaming up there. And the Jets have broken this deadlock and have taken the lead here in the fourth. Did you see them hold up four fingers to the start of the fourth quarter? They yeah. were ready. They were definitely ready. They may or may not have done that, but they certainly have played that way. The fourth quarter has belonged to them, and now the lead Zerline. belongs to them as well. Zerline now for the PAT. And they will take a seven-point lead now. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And Garrett Wilson capped things off with a touchdown grab. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick.
And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. Look at him go inside the 30. He will take this all the way. Touchdown, Miami. One of the most exciting plays in football. A kickoff return for a touchdown. And in all the excitement, let's not lose sight of the fact that now the pressure shifts to that snapper, holder, and kicker. This extra point is really important. Sanders on for the extra point. And no sweat. He puts it through, and we are tied here in the fourth. Well, we talk a lot about explosive plays on offense. How about an explosive play on special teams? Certainly one there on the kick return for a touchdown. setting up for a great finish all tied in the fourth as the kicks away Xavier Gibson now from his end zone and he's up past the 20 to the 22 yard line and New York set to take the field excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity all tied in the fourth quarter They'll start on the ground, Hall, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Well, that's not an easy play for a defensive end because most of his responsibility has him getting upfield and working, but how about his vision to see where the play was going, crashed down inside, and tackled him for a loss. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. Well, as we all know, possessions are crucial in a tie game. And let's face it, I really didn't need to tell you that. You already knew it. So when he sees he's got nothing good going, an excellent decision to just send that one to the sideline. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Wilson. Trying to lay one up deep. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Oh, that would have been a nice one to hit on in a tie game. You start to think that one big play, maybe the next big play, could turn out to be the game winner. They took the big shot, but it winds up incomplete. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he's on to punt for New York. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. So possession goes over here on the punt, and they will take over first and 10. Miami's offense set and ready to go. The last series form a little disappointing, forced to punt, and now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. They fake the handoff, now to it. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Tyreek Hill that time. That'll bring up second down. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hope it didn't come through on this play and get this series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Here's Tug of Ilo to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. 
The defense did their job. Fourth quarter, big stand. No doubt about it because the offense has been yelling at them from the sideline. Just do us a favor. Get us the ball back. Give us one more chance to take it downfield. The defense just did them a solid, it appears. And when they get the ball back, they can kind of play free tie game. They're not behind. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. A 40-yard punt, no return. And the Jets will take over. Another drive coming up for New York's offense. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. From the 20, here's the second down and six. From the gun, it's Wilson. This pass out wide to Hall. And he's able to get up here to the 26. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. That's a pretty play there coming out of the backfield. But as that back, you've got to be conscious of making sure you're securing the football. When you get out in open field, sometimes you get a little loose with it as you're trying to get up ahead of steam. Make sure you keep it close to your body because those defenders are trying to punch it free. He does a nice job there protecting the ball and picking up a first down. Now a throw here to his running back. It appears they found something that's working, and they keep going back to it. I guess you can actually say he has the hot hands now, doesn't he? Yeah, well, it's one thing to hit your guy out of the backfield once, hit him a couple times. Yeah, you're right. Maybe they're onto something. And I think a lot of that is simply if you get it to him in space, more times than not, he's going to get more yardage than you expect out of each play. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. Now second and four. To throw is Wilson. Throw left side complete. That's Wilson. Short game, short game last two plays. Who do you think's excited about that? Absolutely. This defense, they're saying go right ahead with O's. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Throwing now is Wilson. And in the second half of the tie game, every decision gets magnified. And here, if he forces this ball, it could be intercepted. So that's the prudent play to just airmail it out of bounds. Under 90 seconds to go. Here's second and 10. Wilson to throw. Being chased out left. Take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That one checks all the boxes, doesn't it? You get the first down, check. Get out of bounds, stop the clock, check. Well, how about one last check? Keep your quarterback from getting hit. That's a big check. Yeah, check there as well. Good call. This is first and ten. Here's Wilson. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. That completion helps out in a nice way. Now they can take a little bit more time, but guess what? They've got to make sure on their throws that they see it open, not just anticipate it. Here's second down. Now Wilson. Oh, look at this. It's intercepted. Picked off by Jalen Ramsey. Now he's loose down the left sideline. But he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. Well, that's where you get, apparently, when you try to take on a pro goal cornerback. And what a play there. Make the interception and also bring it back for six. And he is so good that we've seen teams absolutely stay away from throwing the ball at him. Here, he's just reading the quarterback's eyes the entire way, makes a great play on the football, and turns it into six. Sanders now to add the extra point. And they will take a seven-point lead now. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they'll get another 
shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. So here's Wilson and the Jets down by seven. 46 seconds to go. They need a touchdown to the PAT to tie it as they come up first and 10. Back to the air, Wilson after the pick six. And now defensively in the two-minute drill, the big key to me, make sure you understand your assignments, and anytime you get a chance to tackle someone inbounds, get them on the ground. A little more than 40 seconds to play. Now second and 10. Back to throw. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds left to go. This definitely four down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. They'll look to throw. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Picked up by Xavier Howard. Agreed, that's twice now in this fourth quarter. As a quarterback, a lot of times you think it's all on you to make plays when you're losing. And here, the play's not there, but he throws it anyway. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And still two timeouts defensively, but even if they choose to use those, three kneel downs should be enough to get out of here with a victory. And that's exactly what's being stated into the head coach's headset. Oftentimes they have a guy upstairs who monitors this at the end of the game. A little clock management 101. Victory very likely now for the Dolphins as they take a knee here. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout as he'll stop it with 27 seconds showing on the clock. Anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. What a game we were treated to in this one. And on that final play, they had a chance. They had the ball just beyond midfield for one final shot, but couldn't get it done, and they suffered the loss. Yeah, and you mentioned how they had a chance on that final play, and getting into midfield gave them that opportunity, hoping they could find their way to the end zone and make that miracle happen. A really good ending to an entertaining contest, though. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Dolphins are winners here as we say so long from South Florida.